Okay, now we go to the example 3.4, which is in this example, we will go to the alpha method, the lambda method, and also the last one is the beta method, which is in this method, this alpha, lambda, and beta method, it will be applicable to clay soil conditions in calculating the shaft friction. Okay. We go to the first part, which is uh, alpha method first. Okay, so the question asks you to calculate the skin resistance by using alpha method, lambda, and also the beta method. For the beta method, it's given that the VR value is equal to 30 degree for all clay layer. It means that we have a three clay layer here, and then the top 10 meter of clay is normally consolidated. Okay, the bottom clay layer has an OCR, over consolidated ratio, is equal to 2. And the diameter of pile is equal to 457 mm. Okay, we go to the first one, alpha method. Alright, and then as we know that the general equation for QS is equal to submission of F times 2P times 2 the delta L, which is in alpha method. It should be F should be is equal to submission of alpha times to Cu times to P times to delta L. Okay, so we can calculate the parameter here. P is equal to pi d, which is our pi and our d is in meter should be in meter here. So it's equal to one point four three six meter square here. Okay. Okay, the next part or the next step is in determining the, the value of F here. Okay, which is in determining the F value, you need to know the alpha value and also the CU value for each layer. So, for this purpose, I suggest and I prefer that you can tabulate all the data in terms of the table. Okay, uh, the first one, you need to determine the depth. And then you need to determine the delta L and also the CU value, kilo newton, and the alpha from the table that proposed by Tuzagi, proposed by Tuzagi, Tuzagi. In this table, you need to know the value of Cu over Pa. We see the Pa is atmospheric pressure is equal to 100. Okay, and then you can get the QUS. Okay, the soil pressure for each layer, which is the alpha times to the Cu. Okay, times to the P, the delta L, which is in kilonewton unit. Okay, then later on, you can summarize the QS in kilonewton here. Okay, so the first layer is 0 to 5 and the second layer 5 to 10. The third layer is 10 to 30. So the delta L is 5, 5, 20. And the CU is given here. This is the CU, CU value here. We have 30, 30, and 100. And the alpha value we get from the table, 0 0.82, 0 0.82, and 0 0.85. Remember, if not, in, if not mentioned in the table, you need to interpolate that, one, that value. So, you can calculate the soil pressure, which is the first layer is 156. Okay, same goes to first layer. The third layer is 1,224 and the total QS is 1538.0 kN here. Okay, so there is the value for QS uh, using the alpha method. Okay, the next is calculate the shaft resistance using lambda method. Okay, in using the lambda method as usual, our general equation is QS is equal to submission of F times 2P times 2 delta L, which is the F value should be 
determined by lambda factor that multiple to average of sigma prime naught plus to 2 times 2 cu p times 2 the delta l. First of all, you need to determine the average of cu. How to get this one? It's based on the cu for layer 1 stand times 2 delta l1 plus 2 cu layer 2 times 2 delta l2 divided by l. This equation has been given in the slide. Okay, slide lecture. So, our value is 30 times 2, 10 times 2, our derivatives, our CU. Okay, this one. Okay, 100 times 2, 20 divided by total L is 30. So, our average of CU is equal to 76.7 kN per meter square. Okay, the next analysis is to determine the sigma prime naught. Okay, the sigma prime naught. Which is, in determining the sigma prime naught, remember, you need to use the area method. Area method. Okay. Okay, let's say this is our pile. So, the soil dis the stress distribution for this pile foundation, we can consider as a triangle distribution here. And then here, we have here. And then for the last part is, we have here. Okay, so to determine the sigma prime, sigma prime naught is equal to A1 plus A2 plus a3 divided by total of length. How to determine the A1, A2, A3? You need to determine this value and also the base value. Okay? So, so in order to analyze the sigma prime naught, I prefer that you can tabulate the data value in terms of table. Okay. So, we have that here, between 0 to 5 meter, the shape is triangle, and then we have 5 to 10 meter, and another one is 10 to 30 meter. Here is the delta L, which is we have 5 meter here, and then the 5 meter for second part, and the third one is 20 meter. Okay, in order to get the value of sigma, we need to determine the area which is the base of the shape should be the value of sigma prime naught. Okay, as you can see here, 18.5 is based on this part. Okay, the base. Okay, so the second one is for this base, we have A equal to 90, and then the B one should be add up with the second layer okay why i why need to minus 9.81 because we know that this one is ground water table inside the in between first and second layer so we need to minus 9.81 so we get 130.95 here so for the third layer same goes to second layer we have a equal to 130. The B1, we check the gamma is equal to 19.6 minus to 9.81 times 220. So, we get 326.75. Then, you need to calculate the area, which is the area of triangle is half times to H times to B equal to 225. And then, for trapezoidal is equal to 0 0.5 times 2 base A plus B times 2 H, 552. And then for the last one is 4,577. Okay, so we proceed for the next part is 
to determine the average of sigma. Using this equation, you just substitute the value that you calculate before and then you get the sigma average. Okay, by referring the table from the lecture slide, Referring the L is equal to 30, you get the lambda factor is equal to 0 0.136. After we get the all unknown value from previous calculations, we can proceed to determine the QS by using the summation of lambda times 2 the sigma prime naught plus 2, 2 times 3u times 2p times 2 the delta L. So, just substitute the value, the lambda value, the sigma, uh, sigma value that calculate from the area and then the average of CU you can get the QS for this method using uh, this method is 1944.45 kN so this is the value ok the last method for this example is using the beta method ok for the beta methods it's related to the lambda method, which is in calculating the sigma prime naught. It same goes to method of lambda. Okay, so in order to determine the QS, there is a general equation F times 2P to delta L in lambda method. In determining the delta submission of F is equal to submission of beta times 2 sigma prime naught times 2 p times 2 the delta L. Okay, so in determining the beta, you need to refer the condition for clay soil. It maybe can be normal consolidated or over consolidated. For in this question, it mentions that the top 10 meter of clay is normally consolidated. Means that for first and second layer is normally consolidated. Okay, so for the first, for 10 meter upper for this question is normally consolidated. When it's normally consolidated, you need to refer F average is equal to 1 minus sine phi phi r times 2 tangent phi r times 2 sub, uh, the average of sigma prime naught. Okay. So, it will be look like here. Okay, sorry. Okay. It will be like this one. <coughs> A1, A2, and A3. Okay, so as usual, I'm preferable that you can put in the table the depth u to 5 and then 5 to 10. It's only for two layer because the third layer is over consolidated here, OCR. Okay, the bottom layer is OCR. Okay, then you can check here. And then you need to calculate the sigma prime naught, which is the sigma prime naught is equal to gamma H for the first layer is 18.5 is equal to 90 and then the second layer is gamma H is equal to 90 plus 2 minus 1 times 2 5. Same goes to the, uh, the lambda method okay, to determine the sigma value. Okay, and then after that, you can calculate the factor friction average using this equation. Okay, you need to use this equation to determine this part. Okay, so for average 1 is equal to 1 minus sine phi. Okay, 
1 minus sine 30 tangent 30 for the sigma is plus 90 over 2 so our radio is 13 meanwhile for this one is tangent 30 and then 90 plus 130.96 95 okay divide by 2 so our f average 2 is 31.9 okay and then for z it will be separately from this table because it under the over consolidated ratio conditions okay so z is in between 10 to 30 meter so our equation is like this one 1 minus sine phi phi r tangent phi r square root of ocr times to the average of sigma okay so in calculating the sigma is equal to 130.95 plus 219.6 minus 2 ground water table consider times 220 so our value is 226.75 so our f average 3 is equal to 1 minus sine 30 times to tangent 30 okay and then square root of 2 given the value of OCR is 2 okay and then you need to determine the average of sigma 195 plus 2 2 6 divided by 2 so you get a factor average for third layer is 93.43 kN per meter square so after you get all the unknown value so you can Determine the QS here using the equation P is equal to times 2, F average 1 times 2 the L1, F average 2 times 2 the L2, plus 2 F average 3 times 2 the L3, the third layer. So just substitute the value here and then you can get the value of QS using the beta method is 3005.09 kN.